Hello everyone, I'm Bevy and welcome to Bevy Scents. Today we're going to be looking at two fragrances from Marc Jacobs. One is the original and the other is a limited edition version. Let's explore the decadence of it all. Of course I'm talking about Marc Jacobs' decadence. The original in the green velvet box with gold lettering and Marc Jacobs Decadence Rouge Noir Edition with the burgundy velvet panel and gold foil box. Of course, we're going to start with the original. Now here's the beautiful bottle. There she is, a beautiful green bottle with a black and green python print topper and a gold chain. It has a tassel in the 50 and 100 mil sizes. She's so cute. That chain is so strong. You can literally carry it like that. I don't recommend it. Now for the fragrance. And my trusty feather. It's just a burst of floral. There we go, it's sweet, it's floral. Very beautiful. Wow. The top notes of this are supposed to be plum and saffron and iris. The mid in this is supposed to have jasmine, orris, and rose. At this point, it's just a beautiful floral blend. And there's like this little hint of powderiness. This is supposed to be a woody scent. It doesn't get to that part for a while. It's definitely warm and cozy. The base in this is supposed to be amber, papyrus, and vetiver. And you can feel the vetiver tingling along throughout the entire journey, it seems. It starts off as a bite and then it's tingling along. Now on this arm, I sprayed this fragrance about three hours ago. Now, it's just soft, powdery, woodsy. I know when it first gets into the stage, as I experimented with it, for a few days, it gives off on me this aromatic green herby note that just plays peekaboo towards the finish. But once this finally dries down, it's just soft, powdery, and woodsy. Perfect for evening, daytime, it's sensual. Perfect for evening. There she is, Decadence Rouge Noir Edition. This one is truly decadent. Gold body, black and red python print topper with a gold chain and tassel. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, this is so heavy. And yet you can hold it by the chain. Let's see what this scent is like. I can make out the plum. It's sweet and juicy. It's floral. It's got that vetiver. It's coming right off the top. This becomes a woodsy fragrance a lot sooner than the original to me. They're supposed to have the exact same ingredients and yet already for me the top note of plum is very distinguishable for me. It's more plummy if that's possible. It's got the same kind of floral DNA is the original. The woodsy note, the powderiness. 
it's coming in faintly. I sprayed this version on my wrist three hours earlier. So let's see what the dry down's like. Okay, for me, it's powdery and warm and slightly woodsy. It didn't have the aromatic, like green herbal note in there that was plain peekaboo. It's not there at all. I find it to be very smooth, soft and delicate. Like this starts out like a powerhouse, but it just dies, at, dies down to the softest, most powdery, clean, woof, mildly woodsy scent. It's sensual warm, inviting, definitely like its predecessor, perfect for date night and evening. Both of these fragrances lasted about four hours on my skin before turning into a skin scent and I loved them both. But a girl is allowed to have her preference. I really Love the dry down on the Decadence Rouge Noir Edition. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? I see you. How many videos is it that you've watched already? Even if it's only this one, subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notifications and I will see you next time. Bye.